What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode. Coach Joe here, Heartletics.com. And today, I want to share with you guys the, the, the best, in my opinion, childhood story ever and how I recently had to use this story to really help me, <laughs> not just in terms of getting right back home with my family, but also uh, just a great metaphor for a life, for success, maybe you on your fat loss journey, who knows? And odds are, you already know this story, but let today just be a friendly reminder for you. It's about the tortoise versus the hare, right? The rabbit that versus the turtle. And everybody knows the story, right? There's the big race, all the little you know creatures and the animals are there, and it's the turtle versus the bunny rabbit. As soon as the gunfire shoots off to begin the race, boom. Out comes the gate, the bunny rabbit goes all the way right down the, the, the race, right? He turns around, can't even see the turtle because he's so far ahead, decides to take a little cat nap, right? Nothing wrong with that at all. But in the midst of the bunny rabbit taking the, the nap, the turtle is just chugging along, just cruise control, just doing his thing, even sees the bunny rabbit taking a nap, so he's going extra slow, right? Doesn't want to wake him up. And by the time the bunny rabbit actually wakes up from his slumber, he looks up and sees that the turtle is about to complete the race. And so the bunny rabbit tries his hardest, right? But unfortunately, does not make it to the end of the race. The turtle actually wins the race. And let this be known. This is the greatest metaphor for life, hands down. This story right here, talking about, you know, the turtle versus the bunny rabbit. The tortoise, the, uh, the you know, the tortoise versus the hare. And it's awesome. And the reason why it's awesome is because recently, me, my dog, and my son were actually walking, right? We took a very long walk. We went through the woods. We went to the park, right? And on our return back, my son was complaining, I'm thirsty. He's four years old, right? So if you have a th four-year-old, you understand, right? I'm thirsty. My knees are hurting. I don't want to go anymore. I'm tired. Can you just carry me? And it's, it's like carrying a four-year-old son, right? Like that's a workout within itself, <laughs> Okay, my son got some muscle to him, right? He eats his, his protein bars and has protein shakes. But not only that, like you have to do that one arm and also walk the dog, you know, because we had the dog with us. So I'm like, hey, let's just take a little breather. And during that breather, we're doing that little session where he can kind of recover. I happen to remind him, you know, this story about the, the turtle that versus the, the bunny rabbit. And hey, it doesn't matter. You know, his name's Oakley. I'm like, hey, Oakley, it doesn't matter how fast we're going as long as you're moving one foot in the, you know, in front of the other, one foot, you know, in the right direction, like as long as we're stepping forward on our way home, we'll eventually get there, you know, and then you can, you know, sit down on the couch, relax, you know, have some water, rehydrate and just chill. And so he's like, okay, you know, and so we're just holding hands, just walking cruise control, you know, but that's it, you know, no more complaining, no more, you know, hey, I'm thirsty, anything like that, just holding his hand, walking the dog and just very, very slow and steady. But guess what? We eventually got to our house. Now, sure, did we get there a lot slower as, you know, let's just say compared to we were walking normal speed, if his legs weren't hurting, if he wasn't tired, if he wasn't thirsty, obviously, right? But guess what? The moral of the story is we ended right back up at the house. We got to where we we're trying to get to. Now, the reason why, once again, I'm sharing this with you is because I was thinking about this the whole entire way home. You know, I was actually thinking about it this morning at the gym. I shared it with my workout partner, uh, Sean, and it shared him the same story, you know, because he was complaining, complaining, complaining. I want faster results. I want, I, I want to, you know, this now. It's like, hey, listen, it doesn't matter when you're going to get the results. All that matters is you don't give up, right? It's eventually going to come. Slow and steady wins the race. And I think so many times as us as humans, right, especially in today's culture, where you got fast food, right, within a, what, 10-mile radius. You got grocery stores left to right, right? You can easily just drive somewhere, get some food. It's not like back in the primal days, right, where you had to hunt for food, right? Everything's ASAP. In fact, hey, you can order something, pretty much get it here tomorrow with via Amazon Prime. And we typically want that for our health goals as well. I want the results. I want the results. Or I want the success in my business. Or I want the financial freedom, right? We want it. We want it. We want it. We want it. And so many times we start off very, very strong. I mean, you happen to see this, right? Like New Year's resolution. And maybe who knows? You've tried this a few times, right? Where beginning of the year, you start off just like that bunny rabbit, right? Just 100 miles per hour, just gun ho right from the get-go. 
but eventually you fall off the wagon, you know? Or maybe, let's just say you're doing all the right things in terms of, hey, your fat loss habits, right? Herletics focus on 70 essential fat loss habits. And you know, they're really simple. Anybody can easily follow. And if you want more information about them, go visit heartletics.com, you know? It's very easy. And so, in fact, so that somebody could be doing those, but yet they want faster progress. They want the results tomorrow. They want the results next week. And it's a hard time getting within, you know, that individual's head that says, hey, slow and steady wins the race. Small progress is still progression, right? That's why we use our motto at Heartletics as 1% better each and every day. So if you're listening to this right now, and let's say you want faster results, or you want a better career, or you want more money, or you're just working towards a goal that you're trying, you're trying, you're trying, you're trying, and you're feeling kind of discouraged, you got to remember this. As long as it's one foot in front of the other, each and every day, you will eventually get there. Plain and simple, you know? But what you need to focus on is this little childhood story, right? The simple fact that wherever you're getting, as long as you're in the pathway, right, the right direction, you will eventually get there as long as you don't stop, just like what the bunny rabbit did. The bunny rabbit stopped, you know? He wasn't doing what he should have been doing. He wasn't focused. He got too cocky with it, right? Decided to take a nap. Don't ever stop, right? And I'm not saying like, hey, you might get cocky with your you know, fat loss journey. You might be cocky in your business or cocky in your financial income, but you might feel discouraged. You might feel like you're not progressing fast enough. And regardless, that negativity is going to start creeping in. We like to say it's the bad wolf and it's going to start barking nice and loud, feeding you lies on why you should quit, why you should go do something else or whatever the case may be, just throw on the white towel and just surrender. You can't do that. You just got to make sure that, hey, as long as you're on the right path, you got to have faith. You got to have confidence that it's all going to work out in the end. Now, here's the reality. Most people are on the wrong path. You heard me just talk about, hey, New Year's resolution, right? People start off 200 miles per hour. So what is the path that you should be on? You know, let's just talk about fat loss because, you know, obviously we're fat loss experts at Heartletics. The path that you should be on is something that is sustainable, something that is enjoyable, and something that you can be consistent with, you know, whether that's working out at home with or without equipment, whether that's working out at the gym, whether you're training three days a week or four days a week or five days a week, whether you're just focusing on getting more steps in or a daily push-up goal. Whether you're focusing on, hey, hitting maybe your protein intake for the day, you know, and staying within a healthy calorie deficit. Maybe you're focusing on staying hydrated and getting plenty of sleep and making sure your stress levels are nice and, you know, low so you're not spiking your cortisol. These are just a few of the easy habits that we talk about at Heartletics with our 70 essential fat loss habits. Simple stuff, you know, but like to us, this is the right way that it's going to lead somebody on a path where they can stay consistent with. Because remember, wherever you're trying to get to, there's there's multiple paths, multiple paths. Somebody could cut out their carbs. Somebody could cut out all their sugar and their favorite foods. Somebody could do endless amounts of cardio. Somebody could do all these CrossFit workouts and HIIT workouts. Right? It doesn't matter. All that truly matters is like what is going to get you to your goal but also, what is going to get your to your goal and help you maintain that goal? Because so many times when somebody applies for our coaching program, you know, they'll tell us they did card, or excuse me, they'll tell us that they did like cut out the carbs or intermittent fasting. And we'll always tell them like, okay, that's great, but what happened? Why did you fail? You know, oh, I couldn't stick with it long term. Okay. So it wasn't sustainable for you. So it's just like, whatever you're doing right now, if you're on, let's say your fat loss journey, ask yourself realistic, right? Hey, can I do this for the next year, five years, 10 years? Because if the answer is no, there's no point in doing something where you're on a restricted plan or you're cutting out, right? You're, you're cutting corners, whatever the case may be, just to get results for the short term if you can't maintain those results for the long term. And that's a key note. And that's why this childhood story about you know the rabbit versus the turtle is amazing to me because it's all about the long game versus the short game. Anybody can start off strong. Anybody can start off fast and go, you know, 100 miles per hour right out the gates. But remember, what is going to get to you to your goals and help you maintain your goals? And that, my friends, is where you need to focus on a plan that is sustainable, enjoyable, and something that you can be consistent with. You know, and that's why at Heartletics, we focus on habits. We focus on education. We focus on teaching our members 
how to properly eat, how to properly train, right? Applying the 80-20 rule where they can fit in, you know, hey, 20% of the time, you know, their their candy bars, their pizzas, their burgers, their beers, whatever the case may be. But 80% of the time, they're focused on a specific calorie range for fat loss. And they're spo- focusing on hitting their protein goal. They're not worried about their carbs. They're not worried about their fats. We educate them the importance on, hey, you don't need to be stressed and worried about that, right? It's the simple things. Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. So at the end of the day, wherever you're trying to get to in terms of your goals, whatever your goals are, always keep in mind this little childhood story because it's definitely helped me um, really just keep in terms of one foot in front of the other, and I'm sure it could potentially help you out as well. With that being said, this has been Coach Joe with the Heartletics Podcast, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out, Girl Scouts.